Today we're going to be using the weirdest curling iron I've ever seen. It goes right and it goes left. I'm going to assume we put the hair in here and turn it on. That scares me a little bit. Well, I blew out my hair, put it up, went to bed, we'll see what it looks like. All right, this is what we're working with. Slept down and cute. All right, so I'm going to take a piece of hair that's in the inside because it freaks me out a lot. And I don't want to do the front pieces. So let's take a chunk in here, just in case. I've seen a lot of automatic curling irons, but not one like this. Put it in here and turn it. Okay, it wasn't as scary as I thought. Okay, it beeped. And boom, look at that. That's super easy. You don't have to turn your wrist, curl it around. Let's do the rest of the head like this. It's actually a pretty bouncy curl. It didn't pull or tug, so let's continue with the rest of the head. I'm gonna try to get a little closer to the root this time. Cute and bouncy. And this is on the lowest temp of 280. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit now that I'm a little familiar with it. Boom, look at that. It's beautiful. With minimal effort. This thing is like magical and super easy. You guys know I like trying weird and different tools on my hair. Bam, a beautiful curl. It spins it around, you hold it until it beeps. There's a temperature setting from 280 to 400. Once it beeps, you can let it out. The smaller section you take, the quicker it's going to go for each section, so do not hold it on too long. My hair is thick. You test it before you leave it in until it beeps. Turn it down to the lowest setting. You know the drill. So this is the last section. Spray it with your favorite hairspray, let it cool, and then let's shake it out. I mean, I love it. It's easy, simple, and overall, I've never seen a tool like this. I'm impressed. I'm gonna link it down below. If you think about it, give it a try. That's my review. And follow for more, of course. Bye.